In this video, we will show you how to install a power pack insert from Brown. To get started, you will need a measuring tape, Phillips screwdriver, 3 8 inch socket, jigsaw, pliers, a pencil, metal duct tape, and wire strippers. First, check or install the ductwork as necessary. For vertical exhaust, round or rectangular options will work. With horizontal exhaust, use only rectangular ducting. Next, remove the components from outside and inside the unit. The unit includes the grease filters, round damper assembly, cabinet brackets, and the rectangular damper assembly. In this video, we will be installing the insert into a cabinet. If your cabinet is not pre-cut, you can prepare the cabinet by cutting a hole in the bottom that is 28 and 1 inch by 10 and 1 quarter inch. When there is less than a quarter inch of remaining material, you will want to locate the cabinet brackets. Align the bracket flush with the bottom right side of the cabinet. Make sure the bracket is positioned so that it will engage the easy clip on the insert. Draw a line along the top edge of the bracket. Lift the bracket so the bottom edge of the bracket is flush with the marked line. Now screw the bracket into place. Repeat the same steps for the opposite side of the cabinet. There are three sizes of fillers included that are designed to fit cabinets up to 13 inches in depth. Pick the filler that best aligns with the back wall and the cutout to close the gap. Now, install using the wood screws provided. To prepare the unit, disassemble the electrical compartment cover from inside the unit. Set the parts aside for use later. Once the knockout hole is punched out, install an appropriate 7 8 inch diameter strain relief. The unit comes set up for vertical exhaust out of the box. For a vertical exhaust installation, using round ducting, attach the appropriate damper assembly. Note the hinge position. If using the rectangular damper, the damper hinge must be toward the front of the unit. To switch the unit to the optional horizontal exhaust, remove the four retaining screws from the faceplate. Then unplug the blower cable from its connector on the faceplate. Remove the four screws from the support plate on the top of the unit. The blower will be reinstalled later. Detach the back plate by removing both retaining nuts using a 3 8 inch socket. Now install the back plate on top of the unit where the blower support plate was. Align the corner holes to the back of the unit. Attach the plate to the top of the unit using the four previously removed screws. This figure shows the exact measurements the hole should be cut in the back of the cabinet for horizontal ducting to align properly. For horizontal blower setups, attach the horizontal adapter and blower after the power pack is installed. For vertical installs, you are now ready to install the unit. To install, just insert the unit until you feel a click from both sides of the unit. The Easy One hooks can be easily retracted to allow for easy adjustments or removal of the unit. Once the unit is held by the Easy One clips and cabinet bracket, push unit up so the front panel is snug against the cabinet. Then, secure the unit into place using the included screws from the parts bag. Reference the install instructions for which holes to use. Once the unit is secure, connect the ductwork to the adapter damper on top of the unit. Then, reinstall the filters. Now turn on the unit and check all the functions. 
your Brone Power Pack is now ready for operation. For more details, visit bronenewtone.com.